Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Wait for her to cycle. I've already warmed her up. Got our pre-trip done. Um. Oh, hold on, y'all don't look at me. I got on my morning ugly face. Hold on, hold on. Another good thing, buys the buddy shade to good for. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Golly. Another good thing visor buddy shades are good for is hiding the ugly face. You know, when you wake up in the morning and you got that ugly look on your face, but. Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to Diane Middle, Mitchell Stat. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you have an awesome son that reached out to me and um, said that you have Alzheimer's. I think I mentioned this in the last video. And yet you uh, still watch my videos every single day. Uh, he said that uh, you love watching the channel. So, Miss Diane, I want to give a shout out to you and uh, Sheldon. Uh, you're from Trinidad. Uh, to your mother as well. I think he said she had a stroke or a, uh, a seizure, one or two. I think it was a stroke. Uh, but big shout out to your mother. You said that the only time she gets out of bed every day is at uh, noon Central Standard Time to come watch my videos, and then she goes right on back to bed. Uh, just want to say thank you, guys. Uh, GS, uh, Miss Gloria. You know, uh, want to say hello to you too, just personally, face to face. I did get your email. Uh, I haven't had a chance to respond to it. Usually, when I respond to your emails, I got to put some thought and some effort into it. But uh, you were telling me that uh, a while ago that uh, your husband was on hospice care. And uh, noon Central Standard Time every day, you tune in. That was a highlight of your day. Now that he's that he's passed. You know, noon Central Standard Time is still a highlight of your day, and that's why we do what we do. You know, for people like people like you guys, people that you know uh, are just going through something. I mean, we're all going through something. We all have stuff that we have, like skeletons in our closet. Well, not necessarily that, but you know, we all have stuff going on, as I like to say, behind the scenes, and. Uh, you know, sometimes we need we need that pickup. We need that highlight for every day. And so I just want to uh, say thank you for let it, allowing me to be that person. You know, there's a lot of negativity out here in the world. Y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen it in my comment sections. Y'all have seen it in other YouTubers' comment sections. But for people like y'all, that is the reason we do what we do. Uh, I get I get emails and messages, you know, on a regular basis now. Even some uh, comments down in my comment section. And then some of you all have reached out to me, thinking about buying your own truck or coming to Landstar or getting your CDL, uh, or just like typical family advice. Uh, y'all have reached out to me through email or through Facebook or uh, uh, through the Facebook page or Instagram, asking for advice on stuff. And, uh, or sometimes just call and say thank you, you know, for something I said on the channel that really spoke to you. But uh, that's the reason we do what we do, and you all are the ones that keep us that keep us going. Uh, you know, Miss Gloria, I think about you on a regular basis. You know, Miss Diane and Mr. Uh, Sheldon. You know, uh, your mother as well. And then, uh, like I said, just we're help. We're just here to help. You know, I'm not here to teach anybody anything, as I always say. I'm just here to share my experience and how I succeeded with something or how I failed at something. I'm not perfect. I'm still learning. I've only been doing this three years. I got my own truck a year after getting my CDL. Some people are gonna say that's stupid. Why would you do that? You stepped out on faith and it's actually the best decision that we ever made. I'm not in this trucking stuff to, 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 to get rich. You know, I uh, actually value my, fa my family time with my family. And so I do what I need to do to be at home with them, to spend time with them, you know, and to value our quality time. You know, my kids are, how old are they? Four, five, four, three. And then my youngest just turned one yesterday. So five, four, three, and one years old. You know, that is my prime time, you know, spending time with them. You know, I'm not out here to run 3,000, 4,000 miles a week. I'm here to make the money I need to make, make sure there's money in the savings, make sure the bills are paid, make sure there's money to put back into the business. 
and that's it. You know, I've mentioned before that we have several streams of income. Some of y'all have been smart about it. Uh, what are you doing? Drugs? Are you selling drugs? Or, you know, what, like, whatever. I mean, it's none of your business. It's profitable for our family. I mean, if you know, I mean, we're not doing anything illegal. It's just that some stuff, it's, you know, not the next person's business. But, you know, that really helps with trucking right now. With the race the way they are, you know, having several streams of income. Um, because everybody's hurting right now with the economy. And people want to... You know, focus on this election coming up, and they already know who's going to be in office. That stuff is already pre. I mean, you can watch something as simple as The Simpsons and see that stuff's already, you know, premeditated or pre-planned. You know, so I'm not focus on the election. Yeah, you know, I'm focused on the, uh, you know, uh, on my faith. You know, my faith in God. That's all I rely on. I'm not going to rely on somebody in office to make my life better or make my life worse. You know, I'm not going to look to man, you know, for any human down here. But, uh, yeah, guys, I just want to say thank you. Actually, face to face, you know, I thank you all for what you've done. And uh, we'll continue to move forward. We do have some stuff coming up that I'm, I am planning out with the FLD. I spoke to Mr. Robert Owens yesterday. The guy uh, that we're getting our classic from. And uh, so, so far we're looking like either the first or second week of January is when we'll go out there to go get our Freightliner Classic. Hopefully by the end of August, we will have uh, uh, our FLD situated. So I'll hop in that. Uh, but yeah, guys, we, uh, we're about ready to move forward now. So anyway, let's get on this road. Um, we have not changed the name of the channel as of yet. So guys, some of y'all are asking. So when I change the name of the channel, it's just changing the name. Everything's gonna be the same. It's gonna be on this channel. It's just that the name is gonna be different. You don't have to do anything. You just won't see Lone Star Texas Ranger anymore. You'll just see Grinding Gears you know, from now on. You ain't gotta go subscribe somewhere else or nothing. But uh, we're changing the name of the channel is because there's some opportunities coming up. And it's time to rebrand. And it is time to um, to pick a name for the channel that's trucking related. So when you see the name, you know it's got to do with automobile some kind of way. I mean, Lone Star Texas Ranger is too much of a tongue twister. It's, um, people get it mixed up. Texas Lone Star Ranger, Ranger Lone Star Texas, or Land Star Texas. It's just, it's just a long name. I no longer have the Lone Star anymore. I do live in a Lone Star state. That's how I was justifying it. But uh, it's time to pick a name for when people see it. They know what it is, but we're going, we're, nothing's going to change with the channel. I'm not, I'm not changing. I'm not selling out or whatever. It's just that we're doing some rebranding, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so it's time to move up to the next level. So, um, been talking to a few people about a few things. Uh, not going to get into details as of what, but all I got to do is say, uh, Stuntman, the outlaw. Big shout out to you. He's uh, looking out for me on some things. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie, big shout out to you as well. I'm still considering that. Um, but it's just some things that we have coming up in the future, guys. And uh, I don't know if Landstar is going to be in our future. And I don't know if Dry Van is going to be in our, in our future. But we might be making a change here in the, in the next couple of maybe a couple of weeks. We do have some uh, some big time uh, sponsors coming aboard pretty soon. So that'll be able to help with some of the uh, the uh, revenue for the channel. But uh, yeah, guys, I just want to say thank y'all. If it wasn't for you all, haters too, love you guys too. You know, you all have uh, greatly impacted this channel. So uh, thank y'all for the, 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 the viewing the video. Uh, we get revenue on that. Thank y'all for liking the video. Some of y'all, the video only posted for like five seconds. I already got like 10 likes on the video. So if you're constantly liking the video, thank you. If you're constantly commenting every day, thank you. If you're disliking the video, thank you. I get paid off of that too. And if you're subscribing to the channel, thank you. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, thank you because your view and most likely your comment or your dislike still uh, adds to the channel. So uh, just thank y'all for your support. You know, whether it's intentional or not, we're moving forward. 
We have some future plans coming up here in the, in the near future, and uh, we're excited. So FLD coming soon, uh, Classic coming in January, and then our new driver, hopefully by the end of August, sometime in September, we'll have him in this truck. But uh, y'all been asking about the Volvo, but I'm still hiring on. Uh, yes and no, I'm just waiting on a few phone calls. Um, with that, I'm also waiting on, uh, there's another truck that we're looking at. Actually, I need, I need to do my pre-trip, my uh, logs, I mean. There's a few things we're looking at for that too, but we got some stuff coming up, y'all. We got some stuff coming up. But I'm just waiting on a few phone calls and the verification, just a few things to get in place before we move forward. So the plan hasn't changed. It's just been postponed a little bit. But I'm not hiring right now, right now. Once we get the new truck, I'll show y'all on video. You know when I get video of the truck and I get to see it in person to show you guys, that'll be around the time that we're looking to uh, hire on a driver or two. So anyway, thank y'all so, so much. Um, y'all roll that intro and I'll catch you on the other side of it. y'all welcome back we are in uh fort worth texas just got on the 820 well we're getting on the 820 whoa dude slow down golly and your hazmat you don't want to go that way unless you're doing a local delivery but uh Yeah, so we left Amarillo this morning. We are now jumping on the 820 loop because we are hazmat. Uh-oh, dude ran out of gas. Let's see, which way do we need to go? We need to go east. Can't go through downtown. We yeah, had easy day. Just took 287 all the way down from Amarillo. We should be home. Well, I stopped and did my 30 hour break out there in Wichita Falls. Got me something to eat. And now we're about four and a half hours away from the home, from the house. Gotta take the long way around due to being hazmat. I mean, there's Fort Worth. So downtown Fort Worth is to our right. I'll probably take 820. Actually, I'll take 820 all the way down to, uh, what time is it now? It's almost two o'clock. Yeah, I'll take I-20 down to Interstate 45. Take 45 all the way down to Houston. I can't even see the GPS. Which way are we going? Yeah. All right. Need to get over one lane here. All right. Chevy. Oh, that toll is expensive. $6.60. HOV lane, too. But yeah, easy day. Listen, we're just uh, going home. Well, chop off the truck at the yard, go home, and uh, get up first thing in the morning. I don't know how tomorrow's gonna go. I am gonna deliver this load tomorrow, but I don't know how tomorrow's gonna work out because I got some Ikea stuff to run back and forth. They say it won't be ready until about 11 o'clock, 
tomorrow night, but they usually have it loaded early, which y'all know that. So I'm gonna try to pick that up early in the morning. Well, drop this off, shoot down to Ikea, see if they have it loaded ready. And if they do, grab it and, and go. But that has got a, a bunch of stops. But we'll see. Ah, uh, I got some construction up here. Man, I will be really happy when they finish all the construction down here. This has been going on for years. Got my thing of water. Y'all know I've been doing better about drinking my water. Especially in the summer heat. It's Flash is on because we're coming to a slowdown up here. But today we're just Cadillacking. <clears throat> just taking my time. Four and a half hour drive, that's nothing. <clears throat> so I'll be home by seven o'clock tonight easily. Kids go to bed at eight, so I'll be able to see them for a little bit. Oh, it's a nice color Jeep there. Uh, yeah, I got up at like 6.30 this morning, was not trying to get up. All right, do y'all want to cooperate in this traffic or what's going on down here? <clears throat> but it's a nice area over here. I give, I give Fort Worth that, but I just honestly could not stay out here. I'll take my little town of 650 people all day, every day. Like city life, y'all can have it. All right. What's going on down here? Is there a merch? All right, come on over. Yeah, it gets a little confusing down here with all the getting on and getting off and exits and stuff and the lanes get really small. <clears throat> you know, you getting over, you just got your blinker on, what's going on here? Truck has been doing really well. Um, it's at the Hills Church. Truck has been doing well, this load is 40,000 pounds. If you watched yesterday's video, you'd know I have a really big surge I'm dealing with because we're hauling some cylinders that are fully loaded with liquid. <clears throat> so whenever I come to a slowdown or something, I gotta really watch it. Uh oh, Landstar. But yeah, I, I added up my revenue this morning for the week. So last week we did $8,000 in revenue. So happy about that. Yeah, I don't think we ran that hard last week. But what saved us was that load going up to Colorado that we dropped off. That load saved the week. It paid 3,800 bucks. I was at 4,200. Let me slow down up here. This next coming week, we'll see. The only load we have so far is the, the load we have on our back now is $3,000. And I'm dropping that off tomorrow. Oh, that's right, the Ikea thing pays $1,300, so. I gotta find at least another $1,700 to make the uh, week worthwhile. But we technically are missing a day because this low, we, we didn't pick up the same day we dropped off, so we're short one day. And then Ikea run, I didn't, okay, help me see which way are we going. I kind of misjudged, I miscalculated the, the, uh, key, the uh, 
the Ikea run. So we'll see how that goes. I shouldn't have booked that load, but I might be able to save our week. Especially if I can get one of our cabinet loads out of uh, out of San Antonio going to uh, Louisiana. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, so we'll take the 820 down. <clears throat> All right, Van, what are you doing? You getting off or you staying on? You don't know? Come on, dude. Come on, Jakes, where you at? There you are. One thing I miss about my FLD, as soon as I hit those Jakes, they come on. This one, you gotta press on the brake and wait for her to say, oh, you wanna slow down? Okay. Come on, Jake, where you at? Whoa. All right, do I need to get over? I know my GPS is trying to get me to take the HOV lane, I think. Uh, I'll, yeah, okay, I'll hang out in this lane for a little while and go from there. But all right, y'all, I will catch up to you here in a little bit.
Run like I don't got an estate. Yeah. Run it up. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Went from MIA to LA on the run like I don't got an estate. Yeah. I went from LA to the A on the run. You can tell where I stay. Yeah. Counting all this paper, I chase no sleep. Call me jet lag, baby. Yeah. Counting all this paper, I chase no sleep. Call me jet lag, baby. Spend a hundred hundreds Money coming gone, let's get straight to it Been a businessman, it's bigger than music Eyes on a new building with like eight units What's for sale, I might buy it all Don't wanna put in work, now you just wanna ball Got Louis bags with no money in them Bigger the lie, the harder they fall Fast route, for me it's always been a cash route Back route, spend some money, switch a piece of cash out Always been a stand up guy, never back down Curry's on my team and got some pack outs Went from MIA to LA on the run like I don't got an estate yeah. I went from LA to the A on the run, you can tell where I stay yeah. Counting all this paper, I chase no sleep, call me jet lag, baby yeah. Counting all this paper, I chase no sleep, call me jet lag, baby City like I'm Luke Cage. Like I'm this is real life, you're balling 2K. Ballin 2K. I was just a young count, lose change. change. Now I gotta come in 22 ways. 12 12s on me, no flu game. No game. Same team, we the new way. No way. I told my baby, come and get some. Come, come. What's her mind if she hit a stage? Yeah. I said, Do you love me? Why not though? Why not though? I know I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run girl. Run, girl. For the money, money. my vatos. I know I'm not from LA, I'm from New York. New York. Upstate though, State we got though. And we don't show no mercy, run the store. Uh, Ice on my head, on my so head. we got post. Do, 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 do. Went from MIA to LA, on the run like I don't got an estate. Yeah. I went from LA to the A, on the run, you can tell why I stay. Yeah.
I think I transferred like $750 in fuel all the way from Colorado down here. It was almost 1,100 miles. Almost 1,100 miles. So we did pretty decent. We did okay. Or was it $500? It might have been $500. I got to check. You know what? I think it was $500. 500 seems more accurate. This has been costing me about 48, 48 cents to about 50 cents uh, a mile to run this truck. Yeah, I think I transferred $500 over. And I only have about $55 left. And so that's gonna put about 15 gallons in here. That should get us home into our delivery. Almost 16 gallons. Boom. Now that we're in the city, we have no more scales. I am gonna slide my tandems all the way to the front. It'll help us maneuver a little bit better. But uh, Obviously, gonna run into rush hour traffic. We're gonna run into rush hour traffic, so we're probably without traffic about 30 to 40 minutes away from where I park at. But I do have to take the long way around because uh, we're hazmat. And so I gotta take the long way home, so. It is what it is. But uh, everything looks good during our mid-trip inspection and this looks so much better that it's not hanging all the way down there like it was. But yeah, I'll wake up first thing tomorrow morning. We'll drop this thing off. A new placard stuck in there. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that my placard flew out. And I felt like an idiot because I forgot to ask them the shipper for placards, which I'm usually pretty good about. I forgot to ask for placards, but I had some already. So I just said, oh, I don't need to ask it for some. Had I asked it for some, I wouldn't have to spend, I forgot how much this placard was. Then she would have given me four placards, plus I would have had four in a truck, which I usually, you know, have extras, but, and I've got probably 50 of these in the FLD, so. I need to pull those placards out of the FLD and put them in this truck. But uh, if you haven't been keeping up, we will be in this truck probably until the end of August. We're teaming up with FJC Trucking, YouTube channel, FJC Trucking. Uh, I'll be putting his information down there in the comment section. We'll be teaming up with them. And they are gonna be uh, Taking the FLD up to Scranton, Pennsylvania. My buddy 18 Wheels and I are going to be taking a little road trip up there. We'll drop off the truck in Scranton, Pennsylvania. They'll keep it for like two weeks to a month. They're going to go through the whole truck and do and fix and replace, repair all the mechanics on the truck that I want to replace. Hoses, clamps, brackets, mounts. Uh, what else? 
brakes, you name it, they're gonna go through and fix everything. U joints, uh, you uh, you bolts, you name it, they're gonna go through and replace everything and basically make, make it all brand new mechanically. Um, so they'll have the truck about two weeks to a month or so, hopefully until like the end of uh, August, hopefully. It depends on the timeline of everything, trying to coordinate schedules. My schedule with 18 wheel schedule with uh, FJC trucking schedule. We'll get the truck out there, he'll get everything fixed on it. And then uh, I'll drive it for a little while up and then um, we'll be going down there to Florida's Finest Customs and then we'll be getting a truck painted as well. Uh, not by Florida's Finest Customs, they'll be doing the interior. And then y'all know my buddy down there in Laredo, he'll be doing the um, the paint job, most likely. So, we gotta hustle, I'll say that. So, hustle's gonna be different for the next couple of weeks. So yeah, but yeah, I did check it. Uh, we did $500 in fuel to get us down here, which is way better than 750. So the load paid um, $3,000. Fuel costed us 500 to get down here. But y'all know my theory on the whole, how much you gross, you know. So uh, $3,000, usually after everything, after Landstar, after fuel, after insurance and everything. Uh, we'll take home about half of that, so it's about hopefully about fifteen hundred dollars to our pockets. But that's how much Landstar, how much of a check Landstar is going to write us. Hopefully, after all the expenses and everything. But uh, oh man, I forgot to slide my tandems. Why do I always forget that? But, uh, but yeah. Okay, we pull over here out of everybody's way and we'll slide our channel. Right, let's park right here. Security's probably gonna come say something, but. After Landstar takes out their money, after fuel is deducted, expenses and all that, you know, you gotta put money back into your business account. Y'all see that surge on camera? Truck rocking back and forth. All right. Come on now, Arifa. What you got going on here? What are you doing, dude? Oh, man. All right, so yeah, we'll... I bobbed y'all home, but... <coughs> With this low being hazmat, I can't... can't drop this trailer, so... Ooh, let's stop right here. Oh, man. Oh, can y'all see that surge? I don't know. Yeah, we used to live over here. Uh, back before we bought our house, we were renting our house on the side of town. Actually, we are not too far. If you watch the news, down here in the Houston area, we had an incident with... Uh, I think she was a 12 year old go, a girl where those two guys had, uh, you know, had assaulted her and, and uh, left her body in a ditch and all that kind of crap. That happened not too, not too far from here. It went national, it was a national news story. But uh, she was a 12 year old girl, her name was Jocelyn something. I can't remember her last name, but it was two guys that uh, did some foul stuff to her. And uh, did what they did, you know, uh, exiled her, and not exiled her, but executed her, and then just left her body in a ditch uh, under a bridge into a ditch. But that happened probably 
10 minutes from here from this pilot. Yeah, it was a national national news story that really threw me off because I pick up, I used to pick up from over there back when I was hauling cars. Uh, actually, my buddy 18 Wheels and I, we used to go over across that bridge 50 times every single day. And to know that something that brutal happened right there, you know, it was mind boggling. Sorry, Mr. Carr, you're going to have to wait, buddy. Oh, she smiled. I don't want to pull. All right. Oh, man. But yeah, when we had this house, we were only paying, I think, $1,500 a month for rent. This is right, right before COVID here we got this house. Let's stop right here. Freightliner Classic coming through the light. Ooh, all in butt. My pickup took you turning. What's going on? All right. Ooh, it's almost an accident right there. Golly, man. This car trying to turn into the trucks. Anyway. All right, we need to get back on the interstate. So what y'all going to do? Blinker on, you gonna let me over. Thank you, thank you. There's good people out here in the world. Give me all the thank you lights. All right. Come on, baby. Let's get on up here. So we have 680,000 miles on the dash. She's still pulling like a charm. I think I've gotten kind of used to her pulling so slow. Over. Yeah, this weekend I might take the FLD up to Express Truck Parts and Chrome and see about getting a few parts for. Her. First thing I want to do is get a the alternator belt replaced. I for sure want to get that replaced before we take her up to uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, that thing is like, ugh. between that and uh all the belts and stuff for the AC compressor. So, yeah, get her in order so we can um, uh, start moving forward with her. But let's knock out these uh, next, well, traffic has died down quite a bit. So let's knock out this last 40, 45 minutes or so. And I will catch you guys at the yard.
Watching what?